Hello and welcome to module one, lesson one of SEO success. I'm excited to get started and we have a lot of ground to cover. So let's dive right in. In this first lesson, I want to give you an overview of SEO right now and how it's affecting businesses just like yours. I'm gonna share with you some best practice and a few insights into my experience and knowledge of how Google works. In the UK, Google dominates search. They have an 85 to 90% market share, meaning every day millions of people go online, many of whom are looking for products and services just like yours. So regardless of your industry, Google has the potential to send a lot of organic traffic to your website and grow your business. With that in mind, everything I cover on this course is with Google in mind. All the recommendations I'm gonna to make to you and your business are from my years of experience of working in and optimizing for Google. I know what Google wants and I know how Google works and I'm gonna share all of that with you throughout this course. There is a saying, where is the best place to hide a dead body? Page two of Google, because no one goes there. It's true that if you want your business to be seen, you need to be on Google's first page. It's what everyone aims for. What I'm gonna to say to you is, we're not just going to aim for Google's first page. We're going to aim for the top half of that first page, specifically the first five organic results, as it's been scientifically researched and proven that almost 70% of the clicks in the UK go to those first five results. So that is, really is where we need to be. Of that 70%, almost half go to the very first organic result. That is huge. That means that we need to get your business into that top position for the crucial keywords. And I'm going to do everything I can throughout this course uh, and share all my expertise and my knowledge and all the little tricks and tips that I know to get you there. So now some absolutely key things to remember and be mindful of for your business website. Firstly, the quality of your content. This one is really, really important. And I'm talking about the homepage, your about page, your services pages, your product pages. For example, if you have products, you can't just use the manufacturer's description for those products. You need to create your own and make them unique, make them interesting. Your blog posts, everything that is on your website needs to be focused around quality and relevance. Second, the user experience. This one is huge. Does your website load fast? Does it work great on mobiles and tablets? Does it have all the key information that a customer or a potential customer may want? Is your contact details easily available onto hand across all devices or is it buried in the footer? These are all the sorts of things we need to be mindful of. Next, we have internal and external linking. Now this one may sound complicated, but it really isn't. It's just a process of linking your website pages to help and aid the user experience so they can navigate your site more easily. It's not about just linking from the menu to each page, but actually within the content of those pages. And crucially, external links, linking out to other authority and trusted websites. Really, really important. Lastly, building website authority. This is the name of the game. We need to build authority because authority equals trust. And if users trust your website and your brand, Google is going to trust you and you're gonna outperform your competition. So those are just four overarching aspects to be mindful of and remember as we work through the course and cover all the different modules and different aspects of improving your business's SEO. I want to finish this lesson by looking at a few things that you should not be doing and that this course avoids entirely. First up, we have keyword stuffing. This is where you choose a single phrase or keyword and then you stuff it into your website as many times as you possibly can in the hope that you'll rank for it. Um, if you're putting the same keyword in all the page titles, meta descriptions, headings, subheadings, images, throughout the copy in the menu, it's overkill. It's most likely gonna be a poor user experience and Google isn't going to like you. Second, we have spammy link building. This is a process of building links on volume and not worrying about the quality, the relevance, or where those links are coming from, but actually just thinking this is just a numbers game. That is how Google used to operate many, many years ago. Now it's all about the quality and the relevance of those links. If you can't generate quality links, uh, then it's better to not generate any links or try and force any links to, to be created. Next, advertising on your website. If you have banner advertising, that's okay, as long as it doesn't interfere with the core content of your website. 
it's something Google is being increasingly strict with. So we need to make sure that the core content on your website is absolutely fine and the banners are very much secondary. Lastly, thin and duplicate content. This one is really important and it affects all different websites. So I wanna make sure that it doesn't affect your site. With regard to thin content, we need to make sure that every single page on your website has enough content on it that it warrants uh, to rank and that it warrants to be a great resource if, for those people that land on it. If you've got pages with 20 words or 30 words, we're gonna be getting rid of those pages. Duplicate content is where you have multiple pages with the same piece of content. Um, you can have a small percentage of duplicate content per page, which you always will have with things like menus and footers, but the core content of each page needs to be unique. There's a really handy little tool that we can have, which is incredibly cheap, and I'm gonna recommend you get it, uh, where, so you can do your own manual checking of duplicate content to make sure you haven't got any issues. Those are just a few things um, that we need to be mindful of. That's just a brief SEO overview before we get into the fun stuff of optimizing your website. So click through to lesson two where we're going to do some housekeeping and ensure that your website has all the basics in place and set up correctly. I'll see you there.